Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's little Halloween video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this Dollar Tree. Um, I'm not really sure what to call this, but it's just like a little home decor piece inspired by the Evil Queen. Um, I found this super cute little best teacher sign with an apple on top and was like, oh, I know what I'm doing with this. So let's jump into the tutorial. So because the apple is only red on one side, I am going to be using the front of this and I'm going to peel off this little part that says world's best teacher or whatever it says, <laughs> mostly because I have painted over this type of paper before. And because I'm wanting to use vinyl on it from my silhouette machine, I found that um, sometimes it doesn't stick as well. So I did go ahead and peel the paper off, but you don't really have to do this step if you're going to um, use my little cheater method. If you don't have a die cut machine, you could just paint over the paper. Um, if you do choose to peel it off, again, totally fine. That's what I did. And then I just took some sandpaper and sanded off the extra glue and paper that was left over. And then I'm going to paint it black using my Waverly black chalk paint. Using some green puffy paint, I'm going to add the poison, if you will, to the apple on the top first. Um, I did use a pencil to kind of sketch out roughly where the eyes and little like nostrils are on the apple. You could totally just freehand it, but I'm someone who gets really nervous, so I just like to <laughs> kind of give myself a little bit of a template. And then I went in with this green puffy paint. I am kind of sad because this looks like lime green in the bottle, but it came out more of a true green once it dried. So just fair warning, um, if you're wanting a really bright green, I would definitely look for one that says like neon green or something like that. But the first step is just going around the eyes and little nostrils that you created just to make sure that you don't accidentally fill those in. And then I started doing the drips on the bottom um, just to make it look like this poison was kind of dripping down the apple like it does in the movie. And then I just went in and filled in the top. This part's like really satisfying to do. I don't know why, but it's like kind of relaxing. Um, also, you guys, um, be careful not to put too much on. It does take a really long time for puffy paint to dry. They actually say to let it set for like 24 hours. And the more you put on in this first coat, um, the longer it'll take to dry. I personally would do it in a, a coat kind of like what I'm doing now where it's the reds poking through a little bit. And then if you want to go in and add more later, you can always do that. Now I let mine dry overnight before moving on to the next step. So this next part I am filming at night, sorry about the lighting, but if you guys can see, the green is so much darker now. Um, okay, so I printed off the little phrase that I want to put on here. So it says, one bite and all your dreams will come true. And I did use two separate fonts. I just kind of liked how that looked. Now, this is the kind of cheaters method if you don't have a die cut machine that I'm going to show you guys. Um, it does work really nicely, but I will tell you, you do need a nice paint pen for this process. So first, print off the saying that you're wanting. And then you're going to take a pencil and flipping it over on the, like, to where you've got the back up, you're going to take your pencil and just go over it really hard with your pencil. So kind of what this is gonna do is it's going to create a transfer where when you press down on the paper, it's gonna leave behind the graphite of the pencil. So make sure that you get every spot where there are words um, from top to bottom so that all of it is able to transfer and just kind of take your time and go in and color over the back. So now that we have the back all covered, I'm going to flip this over to where the words are facing up and just line it up where I would like it. I did kind of crease it onto the block just to help it stay in position. And then I'm going to take my pencil and very, very firmly press down on the letters and trace them. This is why it's so important that you colored the back really well and that you press down firmly with your pencil because this is how those words are going to transfer onto this block. Now, I personally would suggest going over it twice and just making sure that you very firmly press down because if you do have to go back and kind of retrace it, it is kind of hard to get the words perfectly lined up where they were the first time. But on the bright side, if you did mess this whole process up, it is just pencil. You can erase it and try again. Another option for you guys, if you don't want to do this, is just using stickers. Dollar Tree has some really, really great sticker options. You could also hit up craft stores if you wanted to. Um, I personally just like this method, especially if you're kind of in a pinch and just trying to use things in your own home and you don't have a die cut machine already. And this is what it looked like once I was done tracing. It's very faint, but you guys can definitely see it there. 
So the next step is to go in with your paint pen and just go over the letters. I am going to cut this out because I did not realize that I didn't refocus my camera. Um, also, my paint pen was very, very old. And that's why I said at the beginning, you wanna make sure that you have a paint pen that's nice and newer and make sure that it is fine tipped because mine's a little bit thicker and it did, I don't know, it just didn't come out exactly how I would have wanted it. Um, but again, the bright side is after I realized that, I just painted back over it black and cut some vinyl out. So this is what it looked like when I was done. Again, not terrible. I just didn't like the thin letters, how thick they came out. Um, and it's kind of like a milky white because the paint pen's kind of old. So instead I cut out the exact same phrase using some different fonts with my silhouette machine, mostly because I could not get it to cut out those super skinny letters. And then I'm just going to center this onto the block and use my little squeegee thing to um, rub the letters on. I did lose... Um, <laughs> the word all so I'm gonna go in and add that word after I get these ones on And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I thought this came out so cute and it's just such a simple concept. I think anybody can make this. And whether you have a silhouette machine or you're using stickers or using my little cheater pencil method, um, I just think this is such a cute little Halloween decor or year round because you know what? The Evil Queen can be out year round, right? Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next one.